Welcome to the Iron Speed Designer video series by Milestone Software using the resource tag. Today we're going to learn how to use the resource tag using Iron Speed Designer Enterprise Edition. We'll be working with the formulas tab and resource files. Why localization? Very simply so that your users can use your application in the native language of their choice. So today we're going to learn how to set a resource tag for any field label how to add entries into resource files, and using the resource tag in the databases area. Let's get started. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm using the Southwind uh, database, the Microsoft Access database that's included with your installation of IronSpeed Designer. I've also selected two languages, uh, English United States, which is our default, and Spanish United States. I click Finish. IronSpeed will do its little mini compile thing, and and we'll be done. Now, wh where we're left now is typically at our design surface. What I'd like to do is click on the category name label for the show categories table page. And I'd like you to note two things. First of all, uh, over in the properties window, note that in the text field area for the label, it has a percent ISD default uh, categories, which is the name of the table, and then the name of the database field uh, that this refers to. So were we to switch uh, down to the databases area, you would see that there's a value there for that. But we're going to override this because we now want to, to have IronSpeed pull uh, all of the uh, field labels from uh, our resource files, which is how localization works. So what we'll want to do is go down to the formulas tab, click on uh, the displaying tab, and in the formula we want to type in resource, open around bracket, in this case, I'm going translate, and I'm going to go category name. Close a quote, close round bracket. So this is how simple it is to use the resource tag. We leave the text field alone here. Uh, in fact, what will happen is the formulas tab actually overrides whatever this default value is. Now, if we hit save and click live preview, in a second, we'll see exactly um, what the effect of this is. And Predictably, because we haven't actually made an entry in our resource file yet, it will not be, um, and so in fact you can see it says what it's, it's doing is it's no longer showing me the, uh, the actual category name value, uh, it's actually showing me the resource tag uh, value. So in other words, it's tried to pull it out of the resource file, but that value doesn't exist yet in the resource file, and so this is the next step that we're going to do is have a look at that, update that, and then carry on. So let's have a look at our resource files. Resource files are used to store localized information for all of our tags. In this particular case, we have English US and we have Spanish US. And note that these localization files or resource files are stored in the app underscore global resources subfolder right underneath our, our application folder. OK, if we double click on our English US, translation for example then what happens is on my machine Visual Studio opens my file and what we have is we have the uh, token or resource tag and then we have the value uh, iron speed has provided many of the standard navigation tags but does not translate automatically any of the other labels from our database so I'm going to scroll to the very bottom and I'm going to type in translate category name and type in category name. I'll add the exclamation mark so that we know for sure that uh, Iron Speed is pulling it correctly from, uh, from the resource file. I'm going to click Save. I'll move these out of the way and I'll just simply refresh my page uh, by going in and out of Live Preview. And you can see now that in English, we now have category names. So this is absolutely perfect. It's exactly what we want. But if we change languages, then of course, because we haven't yet updated category name uh, in Spanish, uh, it hasn't, hasn't changed yet. So uh, although I'm not a Spanish speaker, I'm going to load the Spanish version of our resource. And I'm going to go to the very bottom. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Translate category name. And it would be uh, Categorio Nombre, possibly, with another exclamation. I'll 
hit save, move this out of the way. And if we simply switch from English back to Spanish, you can see now that the name changes accordingly. So very simply, we have a way of manually um, introducing the use of the resource tag. Go back to it again so you can remember what it looks like uh, in here. And in fact, if we wanted to, we could actually concatenate other words together or other resource tags together if we wanted to. So uh, it absolutely does work and is a good way to do it for a manual process for localization. Although using the resource tag has shown to be quite simple, clearly we don't want to have to be able to go to every label uh, on every page and change, uh, change the, the, the tag. So uh, what instead we can also do is we can go to the databases area, click on the field that we want, go down to within the formulas tab down to the label text tag and let's just type in what we did before which is resource uh, translate category name. Now if I go back to my page and I uncheck this what should still happen when I do a live preview is it should still very much uh, give me the localization that I had before. So we'll do a little little test, let it do its compile, and we'll see what the result is. The uh, fact that we can set the tag for a field label in one spot and have iron speed change it throughout uh, is very significant. There you go. For example, we're in Spanish right now, and it has still done it. Uh, of course, the real proof is to go to uh, any other page that has the category name label. In this case, I'll go to add categories. You can see that, in fact, it does. And when we switch to Spanish, it, in fact, changes this. So it works actually very well. Today we learned how to change a specific label to use the resource tag. This is effective for cases where we do not want to change all of the labels everywhere, but perhaps just in a specific position. Uh, we learned how to update uh, specific language resource files manually. Uh, which we can do when we need to make uh, key changes that otherwise um, you know, wouldn't happen. And we learned how to utilize the resource tag at the databases area level to affect many field labels at once. If you're looking for a comprehensive solution for localization, please consider Milestone Localizer. You can go to www.ironspeedmvp.com forward slash localizer or contact sales at ironspeedmvp.com for more information. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please direct them to ironspeedmvp.com. Thanks.